Hello people, welcome to the next episode of the t-shirts collection again. So this should be the part 21 if I'm correct. And so welcome all the new guys, welcome all the guys who are watching already regularly, as regularly as I posted it, <laughs> you know I'm too lazy but whatever. Yeah, so uh, we all know why we're here, so let's kick off with the next part of this collection. So the first one, uh, well, we'll start with some lesser known bands in today. And uh, the first one is for the Hunde, uh, a German grind band. Well, I, I reckon it's a grind, uh, German band. So this one has a back print as well. It's like a tiny, tiny front print, nothing special, you know. And, and a back print in a German language as well. You can pause and read it if you want to. So, yeah, that's the first one to kick off. Then the next one I got from uh, Self Made God, uh, Mega Scavenger. And Self Made God is a great record company. I, I bought quite a few shirts from them. You know, it's like I think they're from Poland, that record company, in a lot of grind and, and some, well, death metal, but mostly grind, I would say. You know, so nothing on the back on this shirt. And yeah, some of you were asking where I get my shirts, so. One bunch comes from self made God, definitely. Right, uh, another one we got is a uh, Moridigam. Right, uh, nothing on the back on this one as well. Some of these lesser known bands, if you want to find something new, check these out, you know. I, s uh, I would need to check myself this one out because I'm not quite sure. Actually, what was it? I think it was like a proper death metal, but I don't remember quite. Uh, so, Magnicide. These, these, I definitely got from uh, a pile of grind shirts when I got. A uh, tiny, tiny back print on the top, so you can see that one. And yeah, it's a proper, you know, grind, power violent shirt. Uh, so then we have the next one is Six Brew Banta. You can imagine what uh, what are those guys playing as well, you know. And this all famous sign down with the music <laughs> noise. I, I, I like the back more than I like the front, to be honest, you know. So yeah, but it's great. Mandatory termination. <laughs> cool. Then another lesser known band is Omnios Crucifix. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, I think from Mexico, but I'm not 100% sure on this one. Podrido Metal de Muerte Mexicano no claw. Of course it's from Mexican then. So yeah, some of you were asking, do I have any Mexican shirts? So here, here is it. As well, lesser known band, but you can check them out, yeah. <laughs> this harmonic orchestra is something something new. Well, not new, something old, uh, but yeah, something forgotten. A lot of people have forgotten about this band. It's really good. No back print on this one, but yeah. Cool. Then the band which is quite popular. Yeah, some some popular ones start now. And uh yeah. One of those, you know, <laughs> that are in some of those uh, most brutal shirt, you know, cover or whatever, you know, tops always. The moment. Uh, I like me my the moment. And I saw them once live as well, and uh, I think it was Brutal Assault, yeah. So pretty awesome band. Another pretty awesome and close to my heart band. The next one is Malone Creation. Doomsday X. Yeah. Uh, see them, seen them a couple of times live with Brett and without. So yeah, really, really love this band. Some of them. So, so some of the people say, ah, oh, they should give up already. There's only one guy left from the original lineup. 
I don't care. I love the music. So for me, please keep going. Please keep going. Then we move to another one of my all-time favorites, Broken Hope. Mutilated and assimilated. Yeah. This this is awesome, awesome band, and great guys as well. When you when you meet them, they are you know they don't have noses high. They are amazing guys. Then another Malvern Creation shirt, and I absolutely adore this album. This Eternal, oh, it's so bloody good. It's so good. So this this shirt is amazing. So. This, this album I got first on, on tape when even CDs were not a big deal yet, in, at least in Latvia where I grew up, you know. So, uh, and uh, we got mostly bootleg tapes and tape trading and stuff, and, and this was one of the couple original ones I had, you know, which I saved my money and bought, which was shitloads of money for a single tape, you know, but yeah, I got. At that time I bought three tapes which was shitloads of money, so I bought that Eternal, I bought Pierced from Within from Suffocation and I bought actually Godflesh Pure, those were three I bought. Right, Revel in Flesh, this is awesome band, and uh, this, this album as well, uh, when I discovered them, you know, actually I was listening, it'll all week long this on oh, only this you know and then I got co quite a few shirts from them already you know really really awesome like like with Swedish death metal influence or something you know but really awesome band Revel and Flesh from the same style comes up next and the next one is uh, Entrails this is pretty old as well like look in that the logo is like stolen from entombed so you know what they play you know and uh yeah they are really awesome so they recently changed the vocalist so and i've not seen with the old one or with new one live so the one year they should play uh, obscene extreme they cancelled so i've never never got a chance to see them i, I really that's that's one of my top of the list which i need to see then as well from my grind brain selection unrest yeah nothing on the back but yeah you can easily wear these to like obscene stream or something you know you will fit right in then the opposite spectrum of music and my dying bride i love me my dying bride seen them I think twice maybe live I think always good and uh, they were playing grass pop as well this year and I was there with my missus and my missus went to see them and I had to see I don't what else was playing at the same time I don't remember but something else which I had to see were playing the same time so yeah I had to skip it and Machine Head. This is one of the awesome live bands as well. I, I I always go when they play. Saying that, there was one moment when I I got I don't know sick of them and then I skipped one gig. But since uh, apart from that, uh, I've been on every show. I had a chance to go on them. You know, I love them. Well, next one is as well another important shirt from the childhood, let's say, from teenage years. Cannibal Corpse Vile. Yeah, uh, I have another version of this with, with uh, only only the head as well. So yeah, this this is like important important shirt for us like if if you were growing up and uh going through that change of vocalists at that point you know so you know how important how big deal was that album actually you know then you can relate probably and then this album was a big deal as well because after like i'm not sure 14 16 years or something 
uh, Paia Genesis released this album. Oh no, it wasn't this. This this was later on. This is one of the other ones from Trilogy. Yeah. But yeah, Paia Genesis was close to my heart always as well. If you've been watching the previous ones, I had quite a few of those Paia Genesis shirts as well. This is a decent pile. Look, an Edo Legends at the gates. As well, I'm lucky to see them many times live and they are always delivering, you know. So this this have a year on it as well, but I can't bloody read this one. Peaceful, un under license from Peaceful. Who knows? Hard to read that, yeah. But yeah, front and back and awesome. Then we go to another Entrail shirt. Nothing on the back on this, but yeah. They said, I, I, to be honest, I prefer that, that logo, uh, the one that is more like a Tom logo. But on this one, I like that they have those little sleeve prints. Look at these, like the, just the logos, you know, but awesome. I prefer it. It is different than the other ones, you know, so cool. And when we move on to band from Manchester, Burial, um, friends of mine actually, you know, this, this, the, the guitar player from this band actually was one of the first metalheads I get to know basically when I moved to England, when uh, I was living in England for 11 years. So, and uh, yeah, I uh, went to buy some, some, some CDs at that point and just he spoke to me and uh, invited to his gig they had a gig same day or the day after I don't remember in Satan's Hollow that's that's a really cool venue in Manchester so and uh, they play there and yeah so I, I, I'm not sure if I bought this one on that gig or some other gig but yeah I've seen them quite a few times so like good decent black metal from Manchester And a shirt I was looking for years and finally got it. Look at this Diatribes. It's a controversial album because a lot of people didn't like the direction Napalm took. But I dig that album and uh, I can't believe I got this shirt and I got it actually dead cheap. So yeah, really happy about this one. This, this, is, this is precious to me. Really, really awesome shirt. Then we go to band which were, I think today announced to play in Obscene F stream again, and it's Immolation, and this is one of those stretchy all over print shirts. So yeah, uh, I like it. I like it, and Immolation is awesome, always live as well. They have no bad albums. They great death metal band. Great, right. Then what's next? What's next for us is a Mortarhead. Is there a year on it as well? I saw it's 2005. Shirt from 2005. But yeah, just a standard Mortarhead shirt. They probably released <laughs> one of these every bloody year, I think. So <laughs> yeah, well, Mortarhead's great. Another machine head shirt. Jesus wept. I, I rarely get a t-shirt when the cross is in the right direction, but you know, yeah, why not? And that's all, you know, I, I like this yellow old logo, how they had it, you know, really good. And Jesus wept on the back, so yeah. That's my machine head fix. Then we have uh, Heaven Shall Burn. Uh, yeah, uh, a lot of people mourn about them, you know, when they start like political stuff talking and, and, and during the sets. I don't mind because they make sense what they say. And uh, all the rest of the set is awesome. They, they're really good 
and I, I, you know record live whatever and and those covers they do you know like like black tears and stuff so awesome awesome then we go to New York hardcore sick of it all yeah standard sick of it all shirt blue color yeah I got to see them twice I think but one once I went to something else I, I, I saw scratch the surface and went to get, see, see something else uh, in a festival and then once I had to see the all, all set you know but they are not my favorite New York hardcore bands but yeah okay and then a napalm shirt and of course this logo the front is one logo back is a bit different logo oh it's napalm and i have a have a napalm you know i i can't have too many napalm shirts okay move on to black metal marduk and a great logo as well i, I dig this logo and this one has a back print as well so for you black metal fans great shirt and we have master legendary band legendary band death metal fans know this so there is not not much to say about them He's actually releasing quite a few shirts as well, you know, the Speckman and, and why not? He knows at least how he can survive, you know. He's done his bit, he can earn some money on it, so why not? We can nachos. A final European tour. So this is from which year? From from sixteen or something? No, I, I don't even know. So yeah or dates on the back but there's no year so but yeah we can nachos I like it one band I need to see and probably I will is uh, Battle Beast uh, they play beginning of next year I think close to me my name is madness on the back there so yeah, there was one moment when I was really into them, you know, and I haven't seen them. Uh, end of disclosure. Yeah, hypocrisy. And the famous cross on the back. So yeah, I love me my hypocrisy. An almost local band, you know, because they they play everywhere and constantly is Asphyx. Just a logo and uh, incoming death. Yeah, nothing on the back on this one, but Asphyx is Asphyx. So, for you death metal fans, I think you appreciate Asphyx. Then we get to another, at the gates, so... This this could have been bigger for my liking, but yeah, it's red, it's different. The red in the sky is ours, so yeah, back print as well there. Why not? Why not? Some more black metal and my favorite immortal album, At the Heart of Winter. And a back print as well, so I've I think two of them. Not sure maybe the one had a different back, but I definitely have two of them. Oh and now we get to Anna on a trach. Anna on a trach. Very, very, very good band. Especially on the records. Uh, live, you know it can be hit and miss but on the records every single album is awesome no back print on this but yeah 
Otherwise, good. Another at the gate shirt. Yeah, I really dig them. So yeah, some of you hate the vocals. I don't. I like them. They are different than everything else. So cool. And for some of you progressive doom metal guys, Catatonia. Night is the new day on the back. And this is good logo. So they have like what? Three logos? Had? Well, and I love the first one the most. And this one is good as well. And then that's just the standard writing. But I don't know why guys you're going direction of standard writing. You have awesome logo. Keep it, you know. Or change for some other one. Awesome one. But not standard shrift or something. And Cataclysm. This is a bit weird. It, it looks like a bootleg because it's... I don't know. It looks really cheaply done or something. But yeah. Has a back print at least or something. So... And a Cataclysm shirt. This next Cataclysm shirt is much better. Shadows and Dos... That, this is one of, I don't know. I absolutely love this album. I'm, I can't say which one is my favorite Cataclysm. I don't know. But Temple of Knowledge, maybe. But yeah, this is this is close as well. I, I dig really dig it. And when they play this song live, you know, the Shadows and Dust, this is so good. Another uh, band from UK. Unfathomable Ruination. Uh, seen them once in Brutal Assault and they were damn good. They were really, really good. And we have a back print on this one as well. And yeah, cool red shirt. Yeah. Then we have another Revel in Flesh. Like I said, yeah, once I've discovered them, uh, I got all I could from them, because uh, I was so hooked, up them, so hooked up on them, so. And the back print as well, so. Awesome. Another band I've, I love, like from Germany, but I've never seen them live yet. So I'm really hoping at some point, end of green, like, uh, Gothic rock, gothic metal, whatever it is, you know. The, the vocalist has done a song with Liv Christine together as well on her album, I think. Was it Liv's, Liv's Eyes album or Liv Christine? I don't remember. I think Liv Christine's album. But yeah, I love his voice and generally this, this is a great gothic band. And another absolutely awesome shot look at this brutal truth extreme conditions amount of extreme responses my favorite when it comes from brutal truth definitely you know i know it's not uh proper like like grind core only it's, it's death grind or something but it's so good it's so good and the back print as well on this one I, I I I love this one. So I have quite a few shirts from this. Uh, they none of them is like from the release day, so I don't have any originals because they are for going for crazy money. But these these bootlegs from somewhere, you know, like Indonesia, Mexico, whatever, I don't care, you know, at this point because I I so love this one. And if, if Brutal Truth would do like Hypocrisy, they release like classic series of their album, I'll get them all, but you know, as long as they don't, I have to get what I can. Another classic is this Hypocrisy Penetralia, and this logo is amazing as well, you know. And the back print as well on this, so yeah. Really, really cool for me, yeah. 
another classic coming up so this is awesome as well this is like a bit smallish but I know it will be alright Sinister Cross the Six and uh, when I was going to a Sinister sh sh concert I wanted to find this one I couldn't so I was I, I don't know it was on the bottom of the shelf and the bottom of the pile and I just couldn't find this one so I had to wear some different ones but I think I ended up wearing one long sleeve Boy, yeah, cross the six. Really, really good. Simple logo, but but I dig it as well. I look, I, I like how it looks. Another napalm dash shirt. If you haven't noticed, I'm a big napalm fan. So, Apex Predator, Easy Meat. I love this album when they released it. You know. People had some mixed feelings, but oh, I loved it. And then they released an even more controversial album, you know. <laughs> and I like that one as well. Right, all oh, right. Then talking about Catatonia and logos, here is my favorite logo from them. And this is from like, I think an EP it was, an old EP. Yeah from the beginnings of Catatonia <laughs> even corpse paint on look at that you know so yeah another classic so these is these are some awesome shirts this time so and another classic is this guy you know body count iced tea and body count no back print on this one uh, my favorite is still Born Dead from them, the album, you know, but on this one they have some really awesome songs as well, especially that uh, that, that slow, that ballad type, you know, the winner takes it all, no, loser, no, winner takes no, how about the drug usage, basically, or something, that was good. And one more, no, two more, I'll show you this one. And on this one, who of you knows, who of you can read this one? I, tr I tried and I, I couldn't anymore. So if you know, if you are still watching, if you know this one, let me know in the comments. It, like every video, there might be something that I have forgotten where I got it and why I got it and you know. I, I tried, but I, I failed. <laughs> and. Uh, that Google Lens failed as well. And this one never fails. This is the last one for today, guys. Rotten Sound. And uh, yeah, they, they are so bloody good, so tight live. And uh, great uh, on albums as well, but live there. Okay, because they have like 40 minutes set only even when they are headlining uh, I don't know how many songs they got in those 40 minutes like 60 I don't know but uh, yeah if you get a chance to see them live always do you know great guys and, and great show so yeah that will be it for today guys and then see you in the next one of course you know subscribe if you want to see the next one and that's it for today Peace out.